The origins of Deuteronomy lie in the kingdom of Judah in the 7th century BCE. This era is characterized by the Assyrian Empire's domination of the ancient Near East. Since the reign of Tiglat Pileser, the Levant had been part of the Assyrian Empire. The northern kingdom of Israel had to pay tribute from the year 738. From 722 BCE, the fall of Samaria, it lost its independence and became an Assyrian province. The king of the southern kingdom of Judah became a vassal of the Assyrian king in 738. The small states of Syria, Palestine were then subject to the Pax Assyrica. The creation of a true infrastructure, which is military and commercial routes, a system of communication between the center and the boundary, brought about mobility that was unparalleled in the history of Mesopotamia. In addition, there were other innovations. The enlistment of soldiers from the annexed countries into the Assyrian army, as well as the deportation of part of the subjugated population. These deportations were mostly of the intelligentsia. When we, when we say the intelligentsia, we're talking about officials, scribes, key military personnel, priests, and elite artisans, which was aimed at preventing the populace from organizing uprisings. These deportees were replaced either by Assyrian functionaries or by other groups of foreigners who were forced to collaborate with the local Assyrian administration. The presence of Assyrian culture and propaganda everywhere caused culture shock. In Israel and in Judah, as in the neighboring kingdoms, which thus far had been sheltered from great international politics. The Assyrians distributed legal documents and propaganda in which the Assyrian king required the total submission of his vassals and which celebrated Assyrian victories and the extermination of all Assyrian enemies. Don't forget the statement. This is where the book of Joshua comes in. The spreading of Assyrian ideology is the first example of the globalization of a dominant culture. And we can say without exaggeration that the encounter that Judean intellectuals, intelligentsia, had with Assyrian ideology had a profound and decisive effect on the formation of the Old Testament. In the 7th century BCE, Jerusalem experienced a notable economic boom and its population grew considerably. This is the consequence of the destruction of Samaria by the Assyrians. The reign of King Josiah was probably the culmination of this development benefiting from a weakening of the Assyrian presence in Palestine, Josiah and his counselors prepared a political and theological reform. Very important. The temple in Jerusalem was declared the only legitimate sanctuary for the worship of Yudhevav. And this facilitated the control of the clergy and of taxes. It is during this period of strong nationalism that a first draft of the book of Deuteronomy was produced. This work accompanied, supported, and justified the changes taking place. As we will see, the influence of Assyrian ideology and style crept in. No wonder Solomon is portrayed as an Assyrian king. You never knew that. Stay tuned for more.